Okay, guys. Tell everybody good morning. Good morning, good morning. It is Sunday morning. We were bad. We did not go to church this morning. I'm a little blurry, sorry. We did not go to church this morning, so we have been making up for that. Not really. We should go to church every single Sunday. Uh, we've been doing some housework around the house. I just did some cleaning and, although you can't really tell because the dogs take over down here, but I just did some laundry. Now I'm gonna put some makeup on because obviously I don't have any on and then we're gonna take our dogs to um, the fire station to play a little bit. And then it's back to the house to continue doing what we do to get ready for the next week, so. Have you had a good weekend, buddy? Yes, have you had a good weekend, Chatsy? Yes, we have had good weekends. He's a good boy. Can you shake? Shake. Good boy. Shake, shots. Good girl. Such smart dogs. Are you excited to go to the fire station? Yeah, I am. I get to play with Goofy Face. The beast. Oh, a beast. Off we go. It's kind of cool outside. I know, it is kind of cool. I was hoping that it was going to be like warm so we could take the dogs to the river to swim, but it's just not, and it stinks. I just wish we would either get through winter and get to spring or get really cold and stay cold, you know? Nah, I prefer to, to warm up already. I'm Turn tired of the cold. cold. Yeah, exactly. Well, and next week it's going to be really warm, but we're going to be at my parents' house, so. Oh, There's no river over there, but that's okay. Go jumping in a pool and freeze my gut off again. Robert Sarvis. Okay, so what y'all didn't see was yesterday this genius. No, decided... no, no, no. We both wanted to go swimming. Oh, no, no, no. We wanted to go swimming, and it was warm enough. So it's like, but it was like 8.30 at night. The sun had gone down. And Robert and I get in our swimsuits and walk out there and Robert sits in there, or he like puts his foot in the pool and he's like, it's really cold. It just hadn't had enough days of really warm weather to warm the water up in the pool. So he's like, it's really cold. So I'm like, I'm not getting in then. I'll just sit by the pool. So Robert's like, I kind of want to jump in. And then we made a deal that if he jumped in the pool, and swam all the way across the long part of it and jumped back out, thank you Shriner, and jumped all the way back out that he could play video video games for a whole week Like, and I couldn't ask any questions. Like he could just play whenever he wanted to and I couldn't be like needy, although I'm not really needy, but. You're not needy at all. So yeah, he did it and he froze his privates off too. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it was cold, yes, but I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible. Oh, bull shark. You're like, oh, 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 as you're swimming Well, yeah, because cool. it's cold. But, I mean, I hopped out and I wasn't, like, you know, shivering or anything yeah, until the wind started blowing. And I was like, okay, it's kind of cold out here. Yeah, so we did not go swimming. Well, I did not go swimming. Robert went swimming for 0.3 seconds. <laughs> and then we went back inside. So, we're at the fire station. Let's go play dogs. Just to show you how windy it is out here. Look at the flag. And our dogs are acting wild. We're in for it. We were telling you a story and then Shiner promptly began to do his business again and he's just been a mess today. So let's retell the story. And I'm gonna let Robert retell it. Which story is this? The story of your son and his tennis ball. Oh god, okay, so 
we there's people doing activities over on this end, which is normally where we play with them. Thank you. I'm Bless sorry. You. So what we normally do is we go and we play with them on this end. Well, today we decided, oh, we'll, we'll just take a couple of tennis balls, walk halfway, play with them, and then finish the walk. Well, neither of us accounted for the fact that Shiner is very slobbery, and any tennis ball he touches afterwards, you don't want to touch until it dries. Even then, it's questionable. So, we get done playing, and I'm like, oh, great, we're going to have to carry these back. And, and I don't have pockets. So we decided to let the dogs carry him back. And Shotzi was a perfect little angel. As always. Uh, it's <laughs> debatable. That's because she loves her ball so much, she would carry it around 24-7 if you'd let her. Yeah. But Shiner would carry it, get bored, and then drop it. Carry it, get bored, drop it. I'd kick it, he'd pick it up, carry it, drop it again. Well, we come around <laughs> on a one spot, and I kick it. He picks it up, he carries a little ways, drops it, walks like a foot forward, and then promptly begins to pee on the tennis ball. And then I kick it again, and he picks it up and continues carrying it. Ugh, oh, disgusting. Oh, gosh. So then he dropped it at one point, and Robert kicked it in the direction of Shotzi. So while she's trying to get both of them in her mouth, she grab shiners and then quickly spit it back out so i don't know if she knew like she could tell that it had been peed on or if that just wasn't the one that she wanted but oh gosh it has been quite the day i think you had to re um entertain shiner with that tennis ball like 20 times i think he dropped it and then you kick it i think that happened, that happened like 20 times that's something that was ridiculous are you proud of yourself Shotzi, what are you doing back there? Hi, Shot. Did you have a good time playing with the tennis ball? So as you can see, been a blast. We laughed the entire way. So we're going to Sonic to get a drink because Robert and I both gave up sodas for Lent. So on Sundays, and I normally don't follow this rule because I think it's not even really fasting for 40 days, it's fasting for seven days and then getting to have it again. But um, I think after this walk, we definitely deserve to have a soda. So if you are somebody who celebrates Lent, then you know this, but if you aren't, during Lent you give something up and then on Sundays, you get to have whatever it is that you gave up. So we're gonna have our soda. Oh. Hey baby, want to go to soccer practice? We're going to go eat at um, Hooters! Or Hooters, we go to Hooters. Just kidding, I'm fine. just kidding, we're not going to Hooters. Panera. We're going to eat at Panera, we're going to end our week with Panera. Will you take part in my say it's been a pretty productive and eventful weekend wouldn't you say so Ew. Yes. sorry <laughs> but I guess we're gonna go ahead and say good night I'm gonna go home and edit this thing go to sleep wake up it's gonna be a very boring week I don't know if Robbie's is gonna be boring but ours is gonna be super boring at our office um, it's spring break so nobody wants to come in and see their advisor on spring break I don't even know why we have to be open but talk to the state anyway you're an essential office for academic success Something he's right like that. that's literally the quote they use anyway so we love you all and god bless you say good night robbie good night robbie <laughs> right, we're going to go no, put it on yourself i don't want to be in front of her right now listen you put your makeup on this morning you no, have I to didn't. use it no i didn't something about like gas and i was like i'm so sorry i don't have any are you videoing this whole thing 
Am I supposed to not be? No, I was just talking to you. Oh. Well, That's I mean, okay. you've told me this story before. That's oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I thought, I thought you were trying to... What about us? I don't know all the words. I just know the what about us part. What about us? What about us? What? What about us? 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 Okay. I got a dream. It's what you make.